Braden residents dealing with crumbling condominiums are now learning the serious construction defects could cost them even more. Eight on Your Side has followed the ongoing saga in the Willowbrook neighborhood for 10 months now. Now, the community's insurance company doesn't want to be on the hook for fixing the buildings. News Channel A's Shannon Binken joins us now live from our newsroom to tell us more about this new twist. Shannon? That's right, Gail. Now that these defects are out in the open, the homeowner's insurance company that covers these 51 buildings says it won't cover any claim caused by the construction flaws. Fed up. Over it. I just want my life back to normal. Ashley Delve's little girl's bedroom has been a construction zone since December. Super hot and there's carpet tacks exposed, carpet just rolled up, stinky, gross. Eight on your side began investigating shoddy construction here at the Willowbrook condos 10 months ago. Builder KB Home vows to fix all the problems, but it has started construction on just four of the 51 buildings. It could take years to finish them all. And if living like this isn't painful enough, now, just as we enter hurricane season, residents are learning their homeowner's insurance has changed. The insurance company says it's not covering claims caused by construction defects. That's scary. Like, what do you do if you can't get insurance? Our house blows away in a hurricane and we're out of luck. Scary indeed, especially when you consider what we found last fall when a contractor took our camera through one of the stripped down homes. No hurricane straps. All the two by fours, top and bottom, are supposed to have a strap in here, a hurricane strap, especially at this elevation. This is the third floor. If you have a wind on the ground floor of 100, it'd probably be 120 up here. We checked the original building plans and found the type of strap approved wasn't used in the this unit we toured. A KB Home spokeswoman tells me that if straps were left off, it was a mistake of a subcontractor and will be added now. And sure enough, we found contractors installing straps late last week. So does this mean all of these buildings lack the proper hurricane protection? If so, what will happen if a storm does hit here? Somebody, somebody's got to be held accountable, whether it's going to be KB Homes, the county. You know, if a storm comes through, somebody's going to be questioning this, and I'm glad you're doing it now. And this isn't all. Homeowners have a separate insurance carrier to cover the inside of the condos. One of the homeowners tells me he just received a letter from his company that they are no longer going to cover him for water intrusion. Gail. Well, all of this sounds rather unusual, and, and what does it mean for these homeowners? Well, Gail, it is very unusual, but this whole situation in Willowbrook is unusual. An independent insurance agent called this terrible, but says this policy should still kick in if there's a fire. All right, Shannon, thank you for the update.